See this small Emanuela, 13 years old girl. Well, Emanuela posted a video recently. Very beautiful young lady, but uh, the kind of outfit she was wearing wasn't really going well with the general public. And so the general public made a lot of dirty comments about Emanuela which is not good. I absolutely stand against it and I greatly criticize such comment. Someone say, Manuela, don't write to knock. Come on, man. Come on, man. But all the same, you already know, everybody get phone. Some really, some really sick people upstairs get their phone and they review all those things. So, Emanuela, you are also to blame. And meanwhile, Mac Angel, Emanuela Hong Kong, has come out to apologize because he is direct custodian of, Man, uh, of Emanuela. The direct, uh, I'm going to put it, foster parents, if I may put it like that. Emanuela has her own parent too. But Mark Angel was the one that brought Emanuela up, according to Mark Angel. Though. Mark Angel said, Dear friends and family, I want to address a situation involving my child, Emanuela. Recent video that has been circulating on social media. Unfortunately, she innocently wore inappropriate clothing belonging to one of our elder sisters without our knowledge. Posted it and on our WhatsApp status. But unfortunately, a few hungry adults who I believe should have done the right thing by calling to report the child behavior considering that we consider her a family friend. She downloaded the video and posted it on her own TikTok account without considering that the child may have posted that video without fully understanding the consequences. The video was shared without my consent or the consent of her handler. I take full responsibility as a parent and I sincerely apologize for all discomfort or concern this may have caused. I'm addressing the situation with my child, emphasizing the importance of making responsible choices. Please understand that this was a mistake and I am taking steps to ensure it doesn't happen again. Thank you for your understanding and support during this challenging time. I lie, Mackenzie, not it do challenge you. Forget Nigeria go talk, they go forget the matter. Mackenzie, see, the kind of person that I don't like anybody criticizing Mackenzie. I don't go understand though, but when it comes to Emanuela and Mackenzie, no critics will be allowed at all. No critics. Hmm? Because I knew all those, I knew I, I watched this guy video, and they were, were like among my inspiration then. Ah, Emanuela. Okay, you know what? She posted that video on her WhatsApp story. And you know very well, WhatsApp is private. Private. If I have you on my WhatsApp, it means like you are a strong family close to me. And if you can view my status, ah, it means say you really, really dear close to me. Well, well. So Emanuela never posted a video. On social media she posted the video on our whatsapp story some greedy person decided to take that video to post it on social media without of course because that person knew that 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 he or she or the manuela image we kind of like be tempered with so manuela need to re-scrutinize detect or check out that person who posted that video and delete that person from a personal WhatsApp. Delete that person immediately because that person is no longer a family. Huh? That person is no family to you, Manuela. So be careful of such person. That if it's possible for you to detect, is it possible for a person want to detect to know who copied their WhatsApp story? Is it possible, guys? Hmm? Is it possible for someone to detect to know who posted their WhatsApp story? Is it possible? Please, I want to know. So, Manuela, enjoy yourself. Not in the apple. Enjoy yourself. Not in the apple. Manuela, say, 
enjoy yourself nothing they happen you understand but make better choices next time eh? make you know they allow but Mackenzie go they apologize on your behalf. Eh? You are a big girl now, you don't they grow 13. Very soon now. No, we don't just, just calm down. How many years remain you now for you to be 18? 16. If you were part of the Kim Kardashian's family, then I would say it will remain you like uh, three years before you are allowed to start dating. Because a uh, tiger, okay. Let me not go that deep. So let me finish that stuff. Check this out, guys. They say Senator. Senate President Akpabio reportedly slumped after his 61 birthday in Abuja. Ah! I said the Senate President goes with Akpabio on Thursday, collapsed at the Transcom Hilton Hotel in Abuja and was rushed to the hospital. The Senate President goes with Akpabio reportedly collapsed on Thursday, December 14, after his 61 birthday in Abuja. Akpabio slumped while seeing President Bola and Metrinubu off, according to Sahara reporters. Tinubu and other dignitaries had gathered at the Congress Hall of the hotel for the to mark his 61st birthday of the Senate President Abuja. Sources told the outlet that Akbabio collapsed today. Okay, it was briefly uh, stabilized. Okay, it was briefly stabilized, being rushed to the NNPC hospital in Abuja, where he was wheeled into a special room on his trenches. He has remained at the hospital, okay? So, uh, that's our Nigerian Senate President. We wish him all the best, quick recovery, and uh, good health and prosperity, and happy birthday. And uh, let's check this out, guys. Jesus may come back on October 1st. Pastor Adibuye. Ah! So the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Adeboye, has said Jesus Christ may return to the world on October 1st of the year that is yet to be unknown. On October 1st of the year that is yet to be unknown. So he, 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 he said he doesn't know the year. Maybe it might be 20, maybe it might be 4,200 years or 10,200 years or 2025 next year jesus christ might come 2026 next two years something something uh next three years okay so according to him he said god was behind the scene when first october was chosen as independence day by nigerians fathers of democracy nigeria is a very special country it will amaze you to know that the most amazing date in the Biblical calendar is 1st October. That is the day that is called the Feast of Trumpet. And, may, and many Bible scholars believe that the most likely day that Jesus will come back again to earth will be October 1st. But the year we don't know. The Bible says when Jesus will come back, it will be with the sound of the trumpet and the day of the feast. Of trumpet is to start on October 1st. Now, when you consider that, you will see that God was behind the scene when our Father, some of whom are now gone, were choosing 1st October as the day of our independence. And this could explain why Nigeria have gone through so much turbulences sometimes. When you think by tomorrow there will be no more Nigeria, you will wake up the next day and still find out that Nigeria is still standing. No matter what is happening in Nigeria today, I firmly believe that we have a glorious future. God has a very special interest in our nation, Nigeria, and I want you to be encouraged. Okay, oh, he ah, said absolutely nothing wrong. Oh. He's encouraging you to, to, to be okay. Don't worry, everything will be fine. He's supposed to do that. What are you expecting? But all the same, eh? When you say God has a special purpose on us, have you ever seen God having a special purpose on uh, someone who is lazy? Someone who knows that this ceiling, this ceiling is breaking off, and he, the person has cement, has spent to quickly uh, patch the ceiling, but you are lazy, sit it down. 
You say God get a glorious purpose for you. Man, Nigeria, we they confuse ourselves. If you now understand the way God is working, you will not say you now don't confuse yourself for this country. What has God not done for us? What has God not done for us? You want to make God they send uh, uh, angels come to these Nigerians? Who are who? Who, who are we? Eh? Are we? Do you know how significant uh, the Earth is in, compared to the universe? By the time they start. Uh, Showing you the universe. Do you know how significant the earth is? Yeah. Who are you? Who, who are you for crying out loud? Who are you? Yeah. God has given you land. God has given you crude oil. God has given you fertile land. God has given you good atmosphere. God has given you population. God has given you everything. Gold, coal, diamond, natural resources, so good uh, 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 Tourist attraction, good weather. Waiting again, do you want God to show you how to use them? <laughs> you are joking with yourself. 